All right, using a cane can keep you walking further, faster, and with less pain. That's a cane? Oh, we'll get yeah. into that, Bob. Everything you need to know about how to use a cane, adjust it, and be safe with it up and down stairs, etc. We'll be with you in 9.3 seconds. Bob, just leave that Hulk. alone. Leave it alone. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, Bob, you and I know using a cane can be a big step for independence, being right. safer, and being more mobile. Yeah, remaining independent. Right. Uh, the one thing you need to understand is how to use it and uh, the benefits and the adjustments, et cetera. We're going to get through those. There's five steps we're going to get through, and we'll be there. We'll do it for you. That's right. Okay, once you realize you needed a cane, you need a cane, one of the big, a lot of people don't want to use one. Right. They're adamant and they think it's going to make them look old. It's just, uh, ugh. but we always tell our patients, it makes you look more sophisticated. Sophisticated. You're safer. Everything about it. And once a person starts to Not use it, loving. Them, yep. They're happy with it. It's like, right. I wish I would have started using it long ago. My knee or my hip or whatever feels much better now. I'm walking faster. Uh, one thing that you'll want to do when you're at that position is get a cane that you like personally. Right. You like the looks of it. You like the feel of it. We do have a few samples here, and there are extreme cane right. styles, if you will. This is a very standard aluminum one. Uh, they work very well. A lot of people... It's got a gun handle. Yeah, yeah. the pistol grip, <laughs> so right. to speak. Uh, this There's this one, which is a little more unique. It's got a... If you have the handle, it's important that your hand feels good on right. it. Right. That's a big advantage. It's going to be on there for a long time. Yeah, because so. you don't want to get a sore palm right. because your handle is too not fitting. You might to have put a lamp on it. Yep. We put, I put in you know, uh, uh, washcloth. washcloths on there with right. tape to cushion it, lamb's wool, or you just buy one that's cushioned. That's a big step. Right. And then there's always the real unique canes. <laughs> the <laughs> the Brad's creation. Yeah, but I've had patients that come in with more unique ones with, uh, than this. Agreed. This actually was a tree growing out of the ground like this. We found it in the woods, and my wife said, Oh, it's like a cane. So I took it home, and I dried it and varnished it and put a tip on it, and there it is. That's so you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's been on my garage waiting for me when I need it when I get uh. older. All right. Now, the uh, get, we covered the grip. The next thing we're going to do is uh -huh. just the height. Height, right. Very really critical. Really important. Now, if you have a wooden cane, uh, and this would be it, and you put your hand down, stand up tall, the grip should line up with the crease of your wrist right here. Right. So right there, this is obviously too long. With a wooden cane, if it's too long, you're in good shape as long as you have a saw. Right. I've done this with many patients. You need to take the rubber tip off, cut it to the right length, put the rubber tip back on, and uh, it'll look something like this. This is the right. Check twice, cut once, yeah. right? Uh, however, most all aluminum canes, will be adjustable up and down by pushing the button. You know, this fits me. Ah, yeah, you can have it, Bob, if you want, mm. but that'll be cost you. I should uh, say that. I'm uh, not so, surprised. So get the cane adjusted properly, absolutely vital. Uh, the next thing is how to walk with the cane. All right, now, we always go through this procedure on teaching people how to walk properly with the cane. If your left knee or hip or your left side is the painful side, the cane goes to the opposite hand. Right. Regardless of what you see on TV. No Dr. House. <laughs> yeah, older people, we know a Dr. House. He always walked with it in the wrong side, right. even though he was a doctor, but it was Hollywood. So... Cane in the right hand, sore leg on the left. When the cane goes forward, the leg goes forward, or vice versa. They go together. One thing I always do is uh, with people, I never tell them how to walk with right. it. And usually people walk with it just because it's a natural way right. the body works. Uh, so I'll, I'll demonstrate that was a proper way. If you way. give them instructions, it screws them up. Yeah, it is confusing. Then you start thinking, right. oh, this and this. Want fun? Yeah. So this is the wrong way to walk. It seems like it would be the right way because the cane is supporting the leg and that should support the sore leg. 
but it's not. When you do this, your balance is not near as good as when you do this. And when you do this, you're leaning over on the cane a little bit, taking the weight off of there. Believe me, do it the right way. Right. It'll work better. Absolutely. So cane and the sore leg work together. And after a while, you will never have to think about it. It'll be natural. All right. And most important, you need to feel comfortable and safe going up and down steps. So I have the blue tape on my sore leg, the one that has a sore Evolve knee. Involved leg. Yep, right. involved leg. Cane, again, in the opposite hand. When you go up, I always tell people if there's a handrail, definitely have the handrail in one hand, the cane in the other. Go lead with the cane. Then you go up with the good leg. I'm sorry, almost got screwed up, Bob. There you go. Cane up with the good leg and step two. Cane up with the good leg and step two, that one. Cane up with the good leg and step two. When you're going up to heaven, lead with the good leg. Yes, that's a good way to remember it. And when you're going to where Brad goes. Yeah, when you go to H E double L toothpicks. <laughs> then you go on with the bad leg. Yep. So, but when you have a cane, lead with the cane first, hand on the rail here, and then go with the sore leg and step to that foot. Cane, hand, sore leg. Beautiful, Brad. Yep. Now, when the rail comes to an end, which a lot of them do, there's nothing to grab. Just stay here, and you may have to turn a little bit sideways. Right. It's up to you. Keep safe. Yep. Now, some people may need that much, and they can go uh, step over step if the sore leg is not very sore. That's right. up to you. Use your good judgment on that. Bob, what say you about the cane Well, usage? we got to show them how to. Shake it, uh, kid. Oh, <laughs> get up on lawn. <laughs> well, my mother was looking out the window, and she was kind of mad at someone <laughs> out there. She, she was shaking, shaking her cane. fist at him. Oh, fist. <laughs> she didn't have a cane, but yeah. I, I could see that anyways. Yeah. Well, one thing or another, enjoy using the cane. It will help you if you need one.